Hey, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to make your very own LinkedIn bio page like the one you're looking at right here. Not only will you be able to feature links that will go to your website, your products and services, perhaps affiliate links too, you'll also be able to feature your own newsletter form so that you can start collecting subscribers. In addition to that, you can even set up your very own store where you can sell your digital products. I'm gonna show you how to do all that step-by-step step in this tutorial, so let's get started. As you saw on my phone, you're able to create a link and buy page just like this, and the best part is you do not need any technical skills, there's no coding required, and what I really love about this service is that you can feature your very own shop to sell your product right there so if your subscribers land on this page they can click on buy now learn more about your product and then click on buy now to get access to your product so therefore you don't need web hosting a website builder and a shopping cart system everything is all in one all right so the very tool that i use to create a link in bio page is called beacons as stated beacons is an all-in-one platform and that's what they strive to be and i did mention you don't need web hosting you don't really need a website builder or a shopping cart and in addition to all that you don't need like an email marketing system unless you need more advanced tools but for the general user if you're just starting out I think Beacons is a great choice, but we'll get more into, I guess, the conclusion later on. But let's run through how to sign up now. So signing up, straightforward, click on sign up. It is free, but I'll discuss more about the pricing and plans later on. During the sign up process, make sure you claim your link in bio, which is essentially adding your username. So it'll be beacons.ai forward slash your username. In my case, it's beacons.ai forward slash Aurelius Tijin. I'm just going to select Aurelius Tijin 2 since I've already registered for my main name. Continue on with the sign up process and then you'll land on the add your socials section. So go ahead, add your socials because this is where it'll show up on your LinkedIn bio. For now, I've just added Instagram and YouTube. I'll click on next. And next, it'll pick up some tags and topics based on your Instagram bio or socials and then we can see things that like productivity which is what i'm into and self-care but that's what it's picked up nevertheless you don't need to worry too much because you can always customize everything later on next feel free to add your profile photo for now i'll just leave it as is and then it's going to ask you what kind of content do you create i'll just leave it all as is you can add more tags and topics here and then Beacons AI will actually try to come up with a short bio. In this case, we've got embracing challenges for growth. You can regenerate too. But to be honest, the short bio that it comes up with is not that great. I would rather personalize it myself. So that's what I recommend you do too. Now we are gonna start styling the page. So that's the great thing about Beacons. It takes you and walks you through the steps to setting up your LinkedIn bio. So it is pretty much good to go as soon as you have set up your link and buy through the setup phase. There are a few color palettes right here. We've got light, got this cherry color, ocean, forest, lemon. So feel free to go through each of the color palettes and also the font styles. There's also different layouts too. This one's got the circle on your profile pic and the background or cover page while this one's a kind of full page. And this one here is just your profile pic. I'm just going to select the portrait option and then click on done. Now it says it's ready and here is my Beacons link in bio page. Let's now move on to customizing our Beacons link in bio page. It might ask you to upgrade, but you can ignore this for now since Beacons offers a free option and you're not obligated to upgrade. Okay, when you first go into your Beacons dashboard, you'll land on the link in bio section where you can actually manage your pages is what they like to call it. And from there, that's where you can control your links, email signup forms. You've got a YouTube uh, block as well as a store block. Now these have already been added uh, through the setup process, but if you do want to remove or even add certain blocks, you can do so. Now to remove something you do not want, let's say the YouTube uh, 
block right here that you can see. And by the way, on the right side is where you can preview your link in bio, but that is what the YouTube block is. So when users go to your link in bio, they can play your video right away. But the great thing is you can simply disable it rather than deleting it. And then it has disappeared right there. To add a new block to your link in bio page, simply click on add block. And this is where you'll be presented with all sorts of different blocks, such as content blocks, monetization blocks, audience building, different layouts and integrations to third-party apps too. Otherwise, you can filter it by categories. So if you just want monetization block, you can click on monetization and then there it will appear. So while we're here, if you do wanna know how to add your very own store, look here, there's store and click on add. I've already got mine here, but once you've added it, you'll see it here. You click once, that'll take you to all the options of that specific block. And this is where you can start adding your product. So if we click on digital product, you land on the product builder and straight away, this is where you can customize the description, add a cover image or images, add a heading for your product and also the copy, which you can edit right here. Essentially what you see right here can be edited. And if I click on a particular element, let's say the heading, we can now add our own product. So let's say it's, I'm selling my 50 digital product ideas product. That there is now being updated. Right here is where I can set the pricing of my product and the structure. If I wanna set a set price, I can select set price or allow the customer to pay what they want, or you can mark as on sale. So you've got a before price, and a sale price, or you can give your product away for free. But let's set a set price. We'll put in $10 instead, set the currency. You can also offer discount codes. Changing the design of your product page is as simple as clicking on design. This will bring up the layouts. And here are a number of design layouts to choose from. This one right here looks pretty good. And if I had the right image, I could simply upload it right there by clicking on the little pencil icon. Colors can be adjusted right here. We've got different color combinations. Let's see minty and we've got blush as well. Over inside fonts, we can select the main font that the page uses. So let's say Merryweather and that'll take effect. You can preview what it looks like on mobile by switching between mobile view and desktop view. Once you're completed with your product page, make sure you head over to checkout and this is where you can add things like custom fields if you want to add extra information so that you can collect more of that data from your customer, then you can do so. And there's also the success screen, so what they see after purchasing your product. And this is what you can customize the image. We've got the thank you message and also this extra section right here. There's also email receipt, and this is what your customers will see after purchasing your product. You can fully customize the message. So right there, as you can see. Now, once you're ready to publish your product, all you need to do is hit that publish button and you're good to go. Other products that you can add include a course, you've got a membership, and you can also import your product from these similar services too. Now let's go back because what I wanna show you now is the links block because that's perhaps the most common use of a link in bio page. If we click on links, you'll see the links that are linking out to other sources, other pages. Uh, so far we've got our Instagram, YouTube. So let's say you wanna add another link to a website. We click on add link. I'm just going to put my website URL. So it's a realistigen.com add. Next, add a title to the title section. I'll just put in my website. You can optionally add a subtitle to describe it further, but personally, I like to keep it simple and just have that main title. In addition, you can add a thumbnail to it. So if we click on add, we can upload our own image or choose one of the other options. Let's say I want to use this image as the thumbnail for this particular link. It's added, I'll click on accept. And there it is. You'll also see it in the preview section. Rearranging the links is really simple. All you need to do is just drag and drop. So if you're on your mobile device, obviously it's just simple as tapping and dragging along. So let's say you want your website first and Instagram second, also YouTube third. 
this one right here, we can delete the link, no longer required. And also this one here, and there we go. Let's say those are all the links that you want to feature on your LinkedIn bio, and this is what it currently looks like. In addition to featuring your links in this kind of layout, what you can also do, and by the way, I'm in my primary account, is go to layouts, and then from here, we can select classic, a layout, carousel with this format, and then we've got image grid like this, or in cards. So we've got different cards right there. So bigger blocks, but if you wanna keep things simple, you can simply use the classic. Then you've got link block size. So I can make it bigger, smaller, set the alignment of the text, and a couple more options. You can also go to settings and add a title. So let's say useful links and also a subtitle such as, you know, resources I recommend, whatever it is. Heading back and referring back to the store, before you can actually start selling your products and services, make sure you integrate your payment processor. So if we go to your account down the bottom right here, go to account settings, head to the payment section, and this is where you can add your PayPal and or Stripe account. Once integrated, that's when you can start accepting payments. In terms of the email marketing feature, if we head to the email sign up box, if you do not see it, or if you do wanna add one, simply click on add block and we can click on email and SMS, and then that'll add an opt-in form like this. You wanna make sure you customize it, so click on the email sign up block, and then once here, you can customize the fields, usually it's name and email anyway. You can firstly customize the welcome email, so after someone types in their name and email, subscribes, that first email that they receive, that is what this is referring to. Continuing on with the form, we've got layout as well, so you can have kind of that one field as opposed to multiple. Customizing the submit button, success message as well. There's also the responses tab where you can see how many subscribers you have and the welcome email, that's where it's all placed. So once you customize it, it should be right here. Then you've got settings and this could be your newsletter name and right there is where it's reflected. Below that, you've got other settings like notifications whenever someone signs up. But once you've added that, you can utilize the email marketing feature. You can try it for free. However, there are some paid options where if you wanna create like automations and things like that, you will need to upgrade. Now, heading back to your main link in bio, you can also head to design if you ever want to go back and maybe customize it further, maybe change the layout. All that can be done right here under design. Insights will give you essentially analytics in terms of how people are finding your link in bio page and how they're landing there. You'll see traffic, sales, services, tips. Also, you've got traffic analytics, so for breakdown and able to filter it. Beacons, plants and pricing was a little bit confusing at first when I signed up, but I understood it later on, obviously after investigating further. But essentially all you need to look at is these plans right here. So free, if you are simply planning to feature some links and you're not really wanting to take you know, and take full advantage of all of its features and free is more than enough, which is what I'm currently using it for. If for instance, you're, you're hosting your products elsewhere, such as Gumroad or Payhip or a different shopping cart system, perhaps Shopify too, and you're okay with that, you don't wanna move uh, into beacons, then that's completely fine. And all you really need is just that link and buy a page. Whereas if you want to have this all-in-one platform, where you can house everything, including even your website, then you might consider the marketing bundle. That's essentially got the link in bio pro is what I think what they call it and the email marketing feature and a heap of other features. But if you want to take a look at it, go to their plans page. I'll also link it up in the link in bio, but you can see a breakdown. So we've got link in bio pro, which essentially upgrades your link in bio to have some of these features right here. And if you just wanna upgrade the store so that you have more features for that particular tool, then you can do that too for just an additional $10 a month. Same with the link in Bio Pro. And that will essentially reduce your transaction fees to 0%. But as I mentioned, if you're just getting started or simply need a link in Bio page to feature on your social profiles, then simply use the free plan. And that's more than enough to get started. 
And if you're concerned about the watermarks, like you see right here with the beacons, try for free uh, watermarks, then that's when you may want to consider upgrading. If that's all you want, just to remove the branding, then the Lincoln Bio Pro is enough because it features that remove beacons branding option what you're going to love about using beacons is that number one it is obviously free as i showed in this video and number two as soon as you go through the sign up and setup process you've got your link in bio ready to go so it's quick and easy and thirdly if you want to start selling your products right on your link in bio page you can do so using the store block as you saw really easy to set up and add your first product and fourth it's an all-in-one platform you really don't need any extra shopping carts or websites or web hosting and domain names optional but you can also add it to your beacons page so that instead of beacons.ai forward slash your username, you can have your own custom domain name with a paid account. So go ahead, get started with your own beacons link in bio page and start promoting your brand or business. I'll link up my referral link if you'd like to support this channel down in the description box below. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and do take care.